Now, spear fishing is something that has taken place for centuries. And it's kind of ironic that one of the hot spots of the fishing rights struggle in Wisconsin is called Lac du Flambeau, which the French interpretation of that particular name of that town and village is the Lake of Flames. And the reason it got that is because when the first fur trappers, the French fur trappers, came in that part of the country, it was the springtime and they saw all these canoes on the lake with flames in the front of the canoe. In other words, almost like a lantern in which they saw Indian people spearfishing. So this tradition goes back long before the state of Wisconsin even existed. Yeah. 
Most states have provisions in their state constitution to honor the Indian treaties that exist in their territory. It is only because states began to chip away at Indian sovereignty and jurisdiction through what they call creeping jurisdiction that allowed states to impose illegally, arbitrarily, their jurisdiction on Indian nations is what has come to diminish our territories and as well as our, our sovereign rights. To our elders who teach us of our creation and our past, so we may preserve Mother Earth for ancestors yet to come, we are the land. This is dedicated to our relatives before us thousands of years ago and to the 150 million who were exterminated across the Western Hemisphere in the first 400 years time, starting in 1492. To those who have kept their homelands and to the nations extinct due to mass slaughter, slavery, deportation and disease unknown to them and to the ones who are subjected to the same treatment today. To the ones who survived the relocations and the ones who died along the way. To those who carried on traditions and lived strong among their people. To those who left their communities by force or by choice and through generations no longer know who they are. To those who search and never find. To those that turn away the so-called non-accepted. To those that bring us together and to those living outside keeping touch, the voice for many. To those that make it back to live and fight the struggles of their people. To those that give up and those who do not care. To those who abuse themselves and others and those who revive again. To those who are physically, mentally or spiritually incapable by accident or by birth. To those who seek strength in our spirituality and ways of life and those who exploit it, even our own. To those who fall for the lies and join the dividing lines that keep us fighting amongst each other. To the outsiders who step in, good or bad, and those of us who don't know better. To the leaders and prisoners of war, politics, crime, race, and religion, innocent or guilty. To the young, the old, the living, and the dead. To our brothers and sisters and all living things across Mother Earth, and her beauty we destroyed and denied the honor that the Creator has given each individual. The truth that lies in our hearts, all my relations.
Lumber Nigger! Do you want to understand it?
Amigo Mia Here in Wisconsin, they were calling Indian people timber niggers. Uh, they were saying that all Indian people are on welfare, that you should spear a pregnant Indian squaw and save two walleye.
even before Christopher Columbus came here, in our prophecies and in our legends, we knew about the white people. We knew when they were coming. We knew what they would look like and what they would do. That's the part of the prophecy way back a long time ago. 